Yes, I, this is something that I said I gave a talk about in Washington earlier this year at the American Society for International Law and the ITA, which is that we are inclusive in the, in the profession, but perhaps we're over-inclusive because it is not a big practice area. There's not uh, endless openness for new entrants, and to the extent that we encourage the young arbitrators to come to so many conferences, to pay for so much training, to pay for LLMs, uh, in the, uh, with the idea that that will open the field for them, I think that we have to be uh, cautious about over-encouragement because there's not that much room. Otherwise, it's really actually exploitative. Uh, the, the point should be to have better quality and targeting training for the talented young people of all, you know, both genders and all nationalities who want to come in rather than too much expanse. And as I said on the panel this morning, the fact that there's a thousand members of ICA and 3,000 members of young ICA proves the point statistically that there are more people whom we're encouraging than can possibly uh, earn a living. So that's a delicate balance that we'll be working on at SEAC in terms of our, our training and bringing in the young arbitrators to work with, with the more senior ones.